Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. I want to jump in by first saying guys I, I've had my room this way for a couple of weeks now and I absolutely love it okay. So let's talk about having all of your stuff in one room and how important it is. Um, before I had actually a regular walk-in closet and I had some stuff in here which were my tops and it was just not functional um, when I do have clients I you know I explain to them what a functional wardrobe looks like but I really that's more so of pieces in your closet but to be honest you have to have a functional wardrobe as far as things being in certain places also being organized but in today's video I wanted to just quickly come on here and talk about fall boots guys so I have boots <laughs> not a whole lot of boots because I've just learned over the years that certain boots are always just gonna be around um, they're never gonna go out of style um, but I wanted to jump in and talk about fall boots for my girls who got big old feet okay <laughs> big feet if your feet are potentially like kind of wide um, these are some of the brands that I do currently purchase um, you guys know I have the stowed boots out. I can probably show those again in the Jennifer Lee boots over there. But I'm going to just open up this. And you guys know this is, let me move this camera over just a little bit. So you guys can see over here. Um, all right, let's start from, let's start from the top. So for my ladies who have big feet, <laughs> Um, I am a size 11 and what I do with these is I typically wear these with nothing that has too much material inside of on, on my pants sorry I just had a brain freeze um, and the reason why is because this part of the boot is very narrow okay <sighs> listen these are Alexander Berman. Sorry, not Alexander, Alexandri Berman. Um, I had a brain freeze. <laughs> They're not the widest boot. However, if you do have a slightly wider foot, um, you can size up actually, and it does give you a little bit of room. They do say that you don't have to size, if you size up, it doesn't matter, but I find that when I do size up, it just gives me a little bit more wiggle room, especially in the zipper area. Um, the stowed boots were, remember I bought them in red first and I had to send them back. I was so upset. Oh, because I had them on pre-order and they were so cute. But, um, and I got a size 11, which is still bigger than my, my size, but the zipper was just like really snug. So when I sized up, it zippered up really, really well. So these are some Alexander, Alexander Berman um, boots. Um, they have like a little bow, like a little knot here. Um, they do have a zipper. I'm not the biggest fan of boots with strings <laughs> with zippers. I mean, like, why? But in this case, it's needed. I'm gonna tell you why. Can you guys see this little thing right here? It's on both sides. And let me tell you, these daggone strings are so, they were so in here so tight that I had to like try to unloose them but then I couldn't even take this out to like skip some holes at the top. Um, uh oh, it's out of focus. That's cause I moved out of focus. <laughs> um, so it was really hard for me to like kind of loosen this up because I couldn't release this piece right here. But these are really nice. Now I always find that I wear these with skirts because it's so fitted here um and or leather leggings uh typically let me see i have a pair of leather leggings from bcvd but if you if you like regular leggings that's fine but i would prefer something that has a little bit more style to it that way i don't i just don't like i don't like leggings i'm not even gonna lie <laughs> those are probably the only leggings that i own in this house besides gym pants um, and let me see, I actually can show you guys. I can because I'm in my room now, my closet. 
this is my master master so these are from can you guys see these I had these for so many years from BCBG and they're just like leather like it's the back is cloth cotton which is perfect um but I had these for so long they just started getting a little little raggedy and I think I purchased these in 20 2013 or 2014 this is what I say about buying good quality it doesn't necessarily um have to be a certain name brand the reason why I purchased these was because they were long and what size did I get I got a medium um, if I can find these again, I would be so happy because they were long. Um, and they were about, they were about $200, uh, $175 or 200 something like that. But it was fine because I, um, ugh. <laughs> I was just happy to find something that was, you know, long. But a good pair of kind of like mo boot, chunky heel boots with some strings are really good to have. Um, so oh, that's good for someone with a wider foot. And like I said, if you do have really wide feet and if it does have a zipper, it can actually cause more issues than good because sometimes the zipper won't zipper up. But if it had just strings, you can just slide your foot in, it may work a little bit better. So these are Alexandra Berman um, and these are a size 42 because his shoes run kind of small. Or her shoes, his shoes, I don't even know. Um, I don't even want to show you these because these are super old. And I kind of feel like they're coming back out. But I never wore these and I probably never am going to wear them. So they're probably going to go on my Poshmark store. These are some old Jessica Simpson boots. But to be quite honest, they're really nice. But I just, I was never really into the whole platform thing. Can you guys see? I'm not really into platform, but... They are so daggone high. But these are not something that I'm going to wear. I'm going to sell these. Um, so I keep, I still keep them good, you know, even though I'm going to sell them. All right, so let's jump into some of my taupe color boots. And these are, who are these by? Mark Fisher. And I got these in an 11. Um, so that's what I'm saying. Like, it really just depends on the shoe. Something told me to get a 42 in the other ones and an 11 in these but these have a really small heel very small and they're like a taupe beige color they're really nice guys look at this these are kind of like Tamara melon boots um they just the leather on these are really nice and I showed you guys these the last video in black if you did not watch that video go watch that um but I definitely love these size 11 if you guys have a big foot i'm gonna try to see if i can find something similar to all of these boots for you guys because these are old but like i well a couple of years i do buy things that can go for the next season um this is why i use neutral colors and i'll do a pop of something here and there uh so those are those and then they're so soft guys and then I have the same ones in black, same size 11, and I've worn these uh, quite a few times. Now, I gotta stop walking the way I walk. Listen, <laughs> look at that. I done jacked the tip, the tip up. Now, I think it's really small. Like you, the average eye can't see it, but I'm all in the camera, so you guys can see that. <laughs> um, also supple, really, really soft. One thing I say, a lot of boots are not made 100% leather anymore. But if it's going to be like a vegan leather, let it be a good vegan leather. Because you don't want it to start cracking and stuff like that. Um, you know, on you. And those are, so the, those two boots are calf, calf, calf height. And then here are my Stuart Weissman boots. These are the, I don't want to say iconic, they're classic boots. Um, Chunky Hill, I got a size, it says 11, 
but I could have sworn I got a 10 and a half. It's saying a size 11. I don't know. I'll... Now I'm confused because I swore up and down I got a 10 and a half. And the reason why was because I um I remember when I put them on, it just it felt so different. Let me see. But you guys know Stuart Weissman does carry wide shoes. So if you are a person that has wide feet, definitely check them out. Um now if you don't like super high heels, I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. Let me see. I could have sworn these was a ten and a half. Ten and a half wide. I don't even know now. Maybe not. I don't know. But these these are actually really, really nice. Like these are the stretch leather. Can you guys see? It's like now I've seen stretch leather and it's not really like stretch leather. I'm looking at that thing. Um, but I don't know, these are really nice. It's so dark in here now. Sorry guys, I am, the sun went down. But these are really nice. And then on the inside, it's just like a little satin material. That way it can just like slide up your leg. Um, these are going to be worn quite a lot. And the reason why, because they're comfortable. I, I swore I got a 10 and a half, but it says an 11, but I, I don't know, they just, they, I don't know, they felt really comfortable around my, around my foot. So, definitely, and I got these on sale. You guys know these are like $900, um, but they're worth it because they're classic. They're classic, see, the sun came back up. They're classic. <laughs> Let me t let me do this because this this looks really dark. Hold on, guys. Let me see if I can add a little bit of light to this. Unless you guys really don't mind how it um. I just put it at one time. Um. So those are those. And as far as now, fall here in Atlanta is kind of it's in between. So personally. I would still wear like mules and like a peep toe. Um, so just depending on the weather because it's like up and down. Okay, so now here are my Charles Davids. These are an 11 as well. Can you guys see these? And I have these in two colors. These are like super. When I tell you I love these. I don't need a stiletto, okay? Cause I am 42 and my back is like, don't do it. So, um, yes, let me come closer so you guys, and this has like a, a small zipper here and it doesn't go all the way up, but enough for you to get your foot in. Now, let me tell you about zippers. I don't like exposed zippers. Don't like them. Um, I think um, this one is not so bad. Okay, and I'll show you why it's not bad. This one is not so bad because I don't know if you guys can see. Usually sometimes there's a lot of space on the side of the zipper and this one doesn't have that. So it's it's stitched really good. So that's that's pretty good. But if they would have had that little layer of leather over it, it would have looked even better. So those are the brown ones and then I have them in black as well and I think I showed those in the video me wearing those I actually wore like black and white that day it's going to be really simple um so same thing the zipper and it does have the thing here if your calves are really thick um but these are also really really nice just nice boots listen I like to find nice boots for women who have larger feet that's good quality and that's because I'm not trying to keep buying boots and shoes over and over you guys seen the stole boots already 
I have my Jennifer Lee boots, which let me grab those. Let me grab let me grab the Jennifer Lee boots. I know you guys seen them a while ago, but these boots are like Oh, you know what? I have a couple of other boots. I forgot. But I'm not going to show all of them. I'm going to show you guys these again really quick because these love these boots guys y'all know these is fresh and i'm using fresh now these could actually be worn with remember that um yeah <laughs> that's why sometimes <laughs> now it's a bit overkill but if you really wanted to just stand out one day you could definitely do this together you can or you could just do a plain red blazer um but i know me i like to go for something a little bit different some days um definitely go for that but her boots are really nice these were kind of high but they're very comfortable and i got these in a child i don't know these things say a 43 i don't i don't even know oh i think her 43 was a 12 because i remember sending her a message because it was like conflicting information but these were actually really really comfortable um they're so cute right these are like let me see i got like a little leather here it can go with this leather here yeah, i have a lot of things that and this is just a crop leather so if i decided to wear the checkered um tartan the tartan blazer i can do that or i can do like a little crop blazer with like a shirt hanging out or whatever um because the browns actually go perfect can you guys see the brown i don't know if you guys can see yeah perfect color um then you guys know that i have that other red blazer but listen i don't go outside like i should <laughs> like i should listen there'll be nothing going on in the streets but the last time i actually wore this i wore the um the checkered jacket um but yeah so those are some of my boots that i'm gonna be rocking this fall um like i said you guys saw the stole boots and let's see and from this side let's close this Ugh. sometimes so the billy bookshelf you guys know it's not like as long as the pack system. Um, if I do replace this, I'll probably do it when I move. Um, and then I'm still gonna keep pumps in my arsenal, which will probably be just some simple classic. And I, I wore these to the ground. And these are Sam Edelman. So you guys know Sam Edelman has, goes up to a size 12. I have that color and of course i have black simple black and you can wear pumps in the fall guys okay and what else and i have them in like a a pretty like i don't know it's kind of bright like a pink pink metallic color um and these are just some booties that i have these are just like these are so old. And let me say, these are Kenneth Cole. People be sleeping on Kenneth Cole. These are old. But I still wear them like when I just want to be like comfortable. It's just a low booty. Um, but that's it. The rest of this stuff I probably won't wear in the um in fall. Still have like a nude pair. This is not my nude, but I still like to wear them. And then I have these booties here. I wore these recently and these are simple. They have like a little silver button, I mean zipper on them. Again, not hidden. Actually, let me see. Who has a hidden zipper? Do they have a hidden zipper? Nope. Even if you have the zipper on the back, it looks a lot better. It's just more stylish. It looks more, more expensive. Um, Actually, oh, I think the stowed boots. 
may have a hidden zipper. Yeah. Um, but, or possibly these, let me see. Yes, so these are Rebecca Minkoff shoes. I love these, these are so cute. She has a hidden zipper. See the back? Now, you see it a little bit, but it does have the leather. That's probably you see because my feet so fat. But there's leather here to cover the zipper, right? It's really nice. This is actually a really, really nice shoe. Love these. Um, and I can wear these in the fall too. I can. But that's it. I just wanted to kind of show you guys some of my fall boots. Um, I didn't style them or anything. I just wanted to show fall boots for women who have larger feet. If you are a size 10 to a 12, um, 10 is easy to find, but when it starts hitting size 11, it becomes really difficult for us ladies who got big old feet. Um, this is my water. Mm. Listen, this is so random, <laughs> but if you are a person who drinks spring water and you don't want to buy water in like the, um, plastic, try finding a local spring water company in your area and getting water in the glass bottle, spring water. Mm -mm -mm. But that's it guys, that's it. And I think the other boots I have are Tory Burch, um, but they're just like kind of chill boots, nothing like, nothing dressy. Um, they're like red strings or whatever. If you guys want to see them, I can show them to you. Let me grab them. <laughs> Let's grab them. This is kind of like... Well, actually, they're so far down, guys. I can't even grab them. Maybe I can. Just for you guys. And these are, these are old. But I'll tell you this. I'll say this. When I tell you I fell in love with these the moment I saw them. They may not be everybody's cup of tea. This is why I say style is better than fashion because style is unique to the individual. Um, and fashion is a collective. Everybody's pretty much doing the same thing, right? So, look at these. Now don't judge, because I like them. I wear stuff like this. And I was so thirsty for these boots. I think they were like 500. Yeah, they just, they're so cute. And I'll tell you a story. The reason why I wanted them, so they have a little Tory Burch thing here. The reason why I wanted these was because like some years back when I was in New York, there was a pair of Tim's, Timberlands. They came up to like the knee, a little bit under the knee and they were just like this. But they were gray, suede, and they had red strings and they were so cute. Oh my God, but. This is one I want to be dressed down. Um, <laughs> but that's it, guys. So, yes, if you have a bigger foot, um, definitely if you know anybody that has big feet and they're kind of slightly wide, send them to my channel. Um, I don't post as much style videos like I used to. I'm just trying to get back into the hang of it because I'm my page is, like, kind of, like, all over. Um, but if you know anybody with some big old feet, send them my way I can definitely help them if they needed some ideas and or brands that cater to us um and I don't know if this is really the case but I kind of feel like this is gonna sound so crazy like the more I see um like gay men and stuff like that they usually have larger feet so I don't know if the sizes are going because they are grabbing them first or they could possibly be getting them custom made but I just feel like the larger sizes are just going fast or you know we get older our feet start to spread your shoe size changes so that could be it too but I don't know who knows let me know what you think about that <laughs> but your girl is in her closet today and I'm super happy that I do have everything in here um if you guys have an extra room in your home I would say go ahead and do it but for those of my ladies who got big feet, <laughs> try out some of those brands that I just showed you. Um, you won't be disappointed. They're really good quality. I look at everything when I'm buying a shoe. 
if it's not good quality, if that heel is looking a little shaky, I'm just not gonna do it. I'm not the biggest girl, but I am heavy. Um, I'm tall, so I can't go and buy a shoe from a Shoe Dazzle or just any place that's cheaper. It has to be quality made. Um, and like I said, all brands are not created equal. Even designer brands, they don't make the best quality. So what happened, these Mark Fisher boots and these, um, what did I say these were? Dave, these are Mark Fisher. Wait, are both of these Mark Fisher? I think so. Oh, no, Charles David. <laughs> so, Ch Charles David, um, these were, those were really nice as well. So, Charles David has two Charles by Charles David. Those, don't get those. Go for the straight Charles David ones. They're more money. Um, and the quality is better so anyway that's it guys so let me know what you guys think about this video um make sure you are liking the video if you're not following me guys or subscribe make sure you subscribe to my channel trust me i see you i know you guys are there a lot of you guys don't comment and i wish that you did but also i just want to end this video by saying if you are a woman even a man it is breast cancer awareness month and I encourage you ladies to go and get your exam. If you are afraid, don't be afraid, just get your exam. Or if you have a history of breast cancer, make sure you are getting the BRCA test, which is the BRCA test. It's a genetic testing. Um, and I also just found out if you are a woman who has dense breasts, how about I say breath, breasts, you should also request a, an ultrasound on your breast. So, Make sure you guys are doing that. I know it's scary, but it is what it is. We have to do it. Um, and also, try to stay away from certain foods, like sugars, dairy. It's no good, guys. <laughs> but I just wanted to throw that in there because we are in October. Um, and you guys know breast cancer is near and dear to my heart because of my mom. But I do want women to go ahead and go get tested. And don't be afraid to go get tested, guys. I know it's scary, but we got to do it. It'll make you feel better knowing that you got it done. But... If you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NY and Coco Styles NYC. And my blog, Coco Styles NYC, and my style and services, Coco Styles NY. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.